So thicker is the process, thicker contemplation, thicker is the process of taking in a divine name, or as we will do in the nature meditations, the phrases that Murshid has given, a phrase, a saying. Take it into the thought and swing it, swing it forward and backward on the breath. That is the meaning of thicker. Thicker means you take it in and you incubate it. It may be a divine name, exhaling la ilaha, inhaling illallahu, or a single divine name, breathed out and breathed in, breathed out and breathed in. But just a word first on this process, it means taking a phrase, taking a name into the thought, into the breath, and churning it, taking it into the mind and incubating it. I'm reminded of a, a, a glorious passage by the, the alchemist Cleopatra, not the queen Cleopatra, but the alchemist Cleopatra who lived in Alexandria in the second or third century uh, from her dialogue with uh, fellow philosophers, she said this, for I tell this to you who are wise, when you take plants, elements, and stones from their places, they appear to you, they appear to you to be mature, but they are not mature until the fire has tested them. When they, when they are clothed in the glory from the fire and shining color thereof, then rather will appear their hidden glory, their sought for beauty, being transformed to the divine state of fusion. For they are nourished in the fire and the embryo grows little by little nourished in its mother's womb. And when the appointed month approaches, is not restrained from issuing forth. Such is the procedure of this worthy art. What a remarkable saying. She's saying here, when you take a plant or a mineral take something from nature, you take it, it might seem to you ready, it might seem to you cooked, but that's because one is only operating on the surface. If one wants to go deeper, one has to go into a process of ripening or cooking or maturation. And that means it has to be taken into you, into the, into the fire, the fire of vision, the fire of inner vision. It has to be slowly cooked with alchemical heat, that heat which warms and illuminates. And then she says, it's as though something is in a, in a womb, it's an embryo. And within its matrix, that matrix of compassion and protection and nurturance, which is thicker, the, the seed, the, the embryo evolves itself, elaborates itself, unfolds itself, and when the time comes, comes out shining as a living being, springs full to life. And so is the nature of Fikr. We take in the idea, the vision of a, of a mountain, of a stream. We take in the words that evoke that mountain or that stream, and we keep breathing it, we keep perceiving it with the light of imagination and the light of intelligence until it takes on a reality that is undeniable. So Moshe says, the breath is like a swing which has a continual motion. 
And whatever is put into the swing, swings also with the movement of the breath. Ficker is becoming conscious of the natural movement of the breath and picturing breath as a swing, putting in that swing a certain thought as a babe in the cradle to rock it. The only difference in the rocking is that in an intentional activity, it is an intentional activity on the part of the person who rocks the cradle. And in Ficker, no effort must be made to change the rhythm of the breath. The breath must be left to its own usual rhythm. One need not try to regulate the rhythm of the breath for the whole mechanism of one's body is already working rhythmically. So breath is rhythmical by nature and it is the very breath itself which causes one to distinguish rhythm. What is important in Ficker is not the rhythm, but the concentration. Ficker is swinging the concentrated thought with the movement of the breath, for breath is life and gives life to the thought which is repeated with the breath. So Murshid is saying here that um, one need not force the breath. Don't have to push it in this direction or that direction. Just attend to it. Just enter into awareness of the breath and you may find that just by being aware of it the breath softens and deepens and widens but you need not and ought not make any artificial effort along these lines just let the breath open itself up and become like a swing See, it goes out, far out toward the horizon, and then in, swinging back deep into the within, and it keeps going out and in, out and in, rhythmically moving. And that movement brings your mind and heart into focus. You won't be scattered, you won't be distracted, you're... you're totally involved in that cycle of attention going out and coming in your your breath your your heartbeat the electric pulse in your limbs all of the different systems of the body are are syncopated and and move in in tandem and within that musical motion there, that rhythmic motion, you bring in the image, the word, and it is illuminated, it is warmed, and it is sublimated. So that is the practice of Ficker, and that is where we're going as we prepare to approach the sayings that Mushet has given in Nature Meditations. Mm -hmm.